What's going on, YouTube? Another week, another little project. Doing something different, not doing a flag this week. Uh, jump on Etsy and YouTube and all that stuff, Google. See what the going trends are. A lot of our craft shows are held around wineries, uh, wine shops, places like that. So I thought I'd do something towards towards their little niche in the market. So I found a thing on Etsy. Uh, I'll try to tag a photo in it. Uh, getting better with the uh, editing of my videos. But they uh, they took a wine bottle, kind of like this one here, and they use a bracket and find it the big box stores. It's just a copper. Um, it's for copper piping. It's a standoff. keeps the uh, copper tubing away from the wall. But they attached the bottle to it and they had just a 1x6 with a wine bottle in it, had a couple flowers in it. They're selling them things for $45 for a set. So I saw that, thought it was pretty neat. Uh, came up with a different design. Uh, can utilize uh, a pre-glued board from uh, the big blue box store and uh, throw my little twist on it. Uh, try not to copy anybody out there and try to come up with my own ideas. It's hard at times, but I get there. So I've come up with a design. We'll get it on a computer and we'll design it. But the wine bottles are going to sit. One's going to sit like this, and the other one's going to sit up like this. And it's going to have the wording half full for the one that's pointing up and half empty for the one that's pointing down. And then on the bottom of it, it's going to say, you decide, and I'm going to make a little wine glass holder. Uh, probably going to have it so it's got uh, pocketing. So it slides in and glues in. Um, see, how I can, see how I can design it. Um, still toying around with the new Carbide Create Pro update. The, I think it's version 5. Uh, got some tricks in there that I'm still learning. But I'm going to come up with something like that. And then my wife does the hobbies. But she has some lights that slide down inside of the wine bottle that has a cork with an on-off switch on it. <coughs> so if I can get all the lights to stay at the bottom in one of them and up towards the neck on another one and that way you can turn them on so it looks like one of them is half full and one of them is half empty uh, but as we progress you'll see what I'm talking about uh, but we'll get in onto the computer we'll get it designed get back out here into the shop and we'll get things thrown on the CNC and we'll get things rolling So if you go to the corners, you can actually set it up so it's got the, the little flip fillet, is what they're calling it. So with that, now we're going to come up to the imports. And we're going to drag these in. And then we're going to click off of them. And we're going to group all these together as individuals. So that one's separate now. That one. And then this one. So the bottles that I've got are fairly tall. I'll remeasure them real quick. They're one foot. So if we take this one and we rotate it to a 45 degree angle, and then we take this one and we do the same thing. We're 
I drop this one down lower. That way the two bottles will be in this area. So then this one here we're going to take a view, highlight the words, hold shift, highlight the outside, come over to your alignment tool and you hit align, it'll line it up in the center for me. So that's kind of what I did there. This one will move it just a little bit. I'm going to do that route. So that looks good. So now the two bottles will hang here. So I need something for to go here. So we're going to come and we're going to make we're going to make a three quarter inch and we're going to make a copy of it. So we're going to count off the wall, I think. So we got, let's zoom in here, we got one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, we got fourteen. This one's gonna come over too. So that's what we got there. So now what I need to do is I'm gonna create a box. We're gonna make it five inches tall. We're gonna make it we're gonna make it five by twelve. So then we're going to bring it over. We're going to click on this box, hold shift again, click the outline, and we're going to center it. So I know it's center. So then control C, control C. So I made an extra tab. So now what I can do is I can bring this down, and I can bring this one down, highlight the box, highlight my two tabs. And we're going to join them. So now, if I did this right, uh, if I zoom it out, it didn't. All right, so we're going to we're going to zoom in, make sure that they're in line, which they are. So if I click on this one, this one, there we go. Now I did it. Hit the wrong bullion. So that's giving me a little tab there. So if I go back and then I hit this one, so I got to do this over because I forgot to run. I forgot to run the corners. So we're going to run the corners like that. So then we're going to get rid of this box. And then we're going to center this box up. So now we're going to highlight this, hold the shift key, grab my two tabs, and out of this again. Keep grabbing the wrong bullion. So there. So that that's given us what we need here. So now what we need to do is we need to create I'm gonna go three quarter inch wide. Uh, this is for a wine glass. And then if I do I believe it's dog bone. Nope. Nope. Uh the flat. If we do that, we make a copy of it. We bring it over. And we 
highlight them. We can then. I don't think it's going to do it. I think it's going to shift everything. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Let's remove it up. So we're going to do it by eye. So with that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and create a box. All I'm using this box for is alignment. So if I click on this, and click on this, then I'll delete this box. I'll grab it. Oops. I accidentally deleted it. So if I grab that box, hit the shift, I let them both, and So now we'll cut this out too at the same time. So we're gonna bring this guy up. And what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna take this up to that board's thirty six inches long. So I almost need to make it a little bit shorter. So if we go 26, so now it fits on there. So now I'm 20 inches wide. So the board that I've got, I can lay it flat, let it hang out the back, and I can let this run like this. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and get tool pass. So we're over here. I'm going to select this guy and this one first. They're going to be a pocket. And we're going to do 0.76. And actually, I'll do 0.77. And we're going to use a quarter inch end mill. Okay. Then we're going to pick all the words. So click the first one, hold shift, pick up the rest of them. And we're going to do V curve. And I want this to be. I'm going to go 0.175. And we're going to change it over to a V bit. I'm going to bump it up to 55 for a feed rate. And then I'm going to hit OK. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look at the simulation real fast. So that gives us the look that we're looking for. So we'll come back. And then while it's still pretty solid, in the, I'm going to pick this one up here. I'm going to hit Contour. Let's get a quarter inch end mill. We're going to do 0.77 again. We're going to do the outside. We're going to edit some tabs. And then I'm going to click on this one. Whoops. I'm going to hit OK. So I'm going to click on this one, do the contour, make sure everything's the same. Add to the outside, we're going to add tabs. And we're going to hit OK. And we're going to hit OK again. So that's what it looks like. And we're looking at 30 minutes to cut this, but I'll probably bump the speeds up. So we'll get to save, we'll get back out into the garage, and we'll get going with it. Okay, so now that that's all designed, uh, I, I laid it out for a little cut off the board.
So it's going to start from this corner and work its way up. So my my planks will be running uh, vertically and stuff horizontally. I don't think it's that big of an issue with a product like this. Um, it's more about the aesthetics. So I got some ore mask. I'm going to ore mask this one. I'm going to give my I'm going to give the ore mask a try once again. I've tried it a couple of times. It just doesn't work for me. I'm going to give it a try again this time. See if it works this time because all I'm doing is V-carving the words. So there's no pocketing or anything. So I'm hoping that it cuts it cleaner. Um, so get you guys set up in the tripod. You can see me ore mask it. Then we'll go over to the uh, CNC and we'll get it put on the CNC machine. All right, so I got it in there. Uh, I've got mine set, so this piece of my uh, spoil board is true to my axis on my uh, on my router. So I pretty much just took and put a pin in the four corners. Uh, after seeing how I designed it, I know that I should be safe. I shouldn't hit any nails there. So we'll uh, we'll get the tripod tripod brought over, get the machine all uh, get the machine set, and then we'll start cutting. All right, so that's gone through its process. I'll get all this blown off real gentle. I don't want to blow the uh, ore mask off. Uh, and then we'll get the, uh, the words painted black. I'm going to tape off these couple of holes here just so I don't get any paint in here. So that way when I glue it, obviously the glue will adhere to each other. Um, so yeah, I'll get you guys set back up in the tripod. I'll uh, get it set up over on the other side there so you can see me taping it off get it sprayed. I'll put it in front of my little heater there uh, just to help dry it quicker. It's, as you can see, it's kind of cold. Uh, so once it's dry, then I'll uh, get my uh, my sander up on the table and we'll uh, sand all the edges. I'm debating on if I'm going to round these edges over. They're pretty sharp. Uh, so I might throw around over a bit, but we'll uh, get the letters painted black, get the keyholes cut in the back, and then we'll get the finishing this thing off. All right, that's, that's got them coated. I'll let that dry up. Uh, like I said, I'll put the box or my little space heater in front of it, uh, prop it up against something. We'll get that cured, uh, and then once that's set, we'll get the keyhole slots made in the back and get it all sanded down. I'll stay in the back first. I'll get that all set, and now it's done. Uh, I may actually throw it back on and put my my uh, logo on the back of it. Uh, just use a V bit. So we'll see. I'll toy around with the idea. But when we come back, I'll be uh, taking care of the backside of this. All right, that's all dry up now. So got the uh, got the keyhole slot cutter set up in the uh, in my router. I'm gonna flip it over. Probably gonna keep the screws closer to the outside edge. Um, 
just because of the bottles. I, I don't want it pivoting. So we'll put two, one on each side, maybe come in like an inch, and we'll uh, we'll get those set. So I'll get you over in the stand, and we'll get this thing flipped over. We'll get the uh, keyhole lines set, and we'll get it cut. All right, so cut the keyhole slots in it, sand the edges. Now I'm gonna go along and sand those edges up. Won't get, won't bore you guys with the sanding. So we'll uh, get these sanded up. Uh, probably gonna round over this edge on this because this will sit here. Um, more than likely, with this being cut out with the CNC, the corners are rounded. So I'll just take that off now. So these corners are rounded a little bit, so I'll have to round these edges over a little bit. So I'll do that off camera. I'll pause the camera, turn on the radio, get all the sanding done, and then we'll get the back stain and we'll get her flipped over and we'll stand up the front. All right, so got this piece all sanded down, round it over, slide right in. Got a little bit of play, think about pre drilling through this way, putting a couple of screws just to. Just a little extra reassurance. Two wine glasses on there shouldn't be that heavy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get you guys up in the stand. Okay, look at the camera. Uh, I got some black stain. I'm gonna flip it over. I'll stain up the back black. Uh, and then that way I can seal the back side up with some polyurethane after some polyacrylic. And once that's dry, then we'll move to the uh, move to the front. We'll get the front all stained up and get everything done. So put you guys up in the stand and we'll get staining. Alright, so we've had it in front of the cute little heater. It's all dry now. So now, now is the moment of truth. I'm just going to set you guys up on this. So, leg going across. So, the moment of truth. Last couple of times I've used our mask. I've had major bleed through. I've sealed it with shellac. I've sealed it with polyurethane. People have said, oh, use uh, enamel paint. I've used enamel paint. I've used airbrush paint. I've used regular spray paint. And it still gets bleed through. And this time, This time it looks like it's worked. So if you've ever had more mass fail on you, I guess more of the day is give it a second try. So,
So yeah. So, oh, we got one. So yeah. So turned out pretty good. Of course, the pee might have ran a knot. So. So yeah. So I'll give this a quick sanding and then we'll uh, get the stain on the front side. Alright, now that it's dry. I need to touch up one spot there. So now that it's dry, that's kind of what it's going to look like. I got thinking while it was drying, instead of pre-drilling through this area, which is, I don't even know if you can see that or not, which is real thin, probably going to crack. I've got a Craig pocket jig. I'll probably put one screw, two screws on both of these when I glue it up. So that way it's a little more, a little more, a little more strength to it. So. So now these are going to lay like this, because they're going to stay there, with this little contraption here. I think I showed it to you at the beginning of the video. I get my screw gun. Now these, we go this row, I can push on the screw, get it out of the way, downfall is that the screws come all the way through. So what I need to do is I need to run this all the way down. So it's good and strong. As you can see, it comes through on the back side. But we'll make arrangements for that. 
So then, we're going to take this guy. back up because it's not positioned exactly the way I want it. The other one's easy. screw that. So that's what it'll look like. And then if I get the little shell, that's where I'm gonna put the wine glasses. So that's pretty pretty neat the way it is, but what I want to do
set this off to the side for a minute. thinking is if I can get this if I can get this unraveled I guess I should have done this off camera Open is if I can stuff all this in here, it'll stay towards the top of the neck. Kind of give it the look of something being in the bottle. Which up on the wall it's gonna look like there's liquid in the bottom of the, in the top of the bottle it's being poured out and this one will be the exact opposite I'll try to get everything down the very bottom so we'll get these lights put in and we'll see what it looks like still not 100 percent sold on it I may actually go with epoxy instead jig got a piece of paper towel underneath it to protect the face I got enough room I'm gonna put two on each one
there it is. So we'll go in, we'll get the poly, and we'll uh, get a couple coats of poly on it, and we'll uh, put it all together. So we got a couple coats on this. Now we got to take care of the uh, the screws sticking to the bottom. So I'm gonna. I can, I can see the black line from where the uh, where the stain on the back is. So I'm going to take my Dremel. I've got a cutting wheel in it. You won't be able to see, but I'm going to go ahead and cut these off. Now that they're cut off, I'll try to put them right back in the same hole.
there it is. Let me uh, get the camera back on the handheld. I'll prop this up so you guys can see a little bit better, but we're pretty much right away with it. All right, so there's the, uh, the final thing. So that's a wrap on that one. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, gotta keep thanking you guys. I'm, I'm up to like 370 subscribers. Keep growing every day. Every day I get one or two more. Uh, so all I can do is thank you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tell more people about my channel. This will be up for sale. Um, and if it sells and you contact me, comment, whatever that you want one, I'll reach out to you and I can make another one. Stain it any color you want. Uh, that was just the color that I chose with it. So until next time, guys, I greatly appreciate it, man.